there comes a time when you have a bunch of people over and you run out of seats. Well, worry no more with your new cardboard chair. You'll never have to worry about running out of sitting area ever again. Yes, you heard me right. With this DIY chair kit, you too can be sitting at your next shindig. <laughs> oh gosh. Did we mention that it's super awesome fun time? It is. Fab Lab is next. Fab Lab, episode 13, Cardboard Chair. It's super awesome fun time. Oh gosh. For some reason, I have had some abnormal slurs and speeches. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. So, uh, what's going on? Um, <laughs> Besides not so much. slipping of tongues. Sh- Wait. Like, <laughs> <that's not laughs> showing up at like uh, five minutes before the show starts. So, yeah. You know, that's, that's what's awesome. happening. That's what's going on right now. That's what goes down here. All right, Jet. Let's talk a little bit about this cardboard <laughs> chair. Because when you told me about this... <laughs> I looked at I, I, I looked at you. Oh, I had gosh. this weird look on my face, and I'm like, "What? What are we gonna do? You can't sit on a cardboard chair." Oh, you always can. Just oh. try not be comfortable. Yeah. True. So let's go to the uh, the the blog post here. That's not activated yet. Why? Because I'm not running it. And uh, let me just open up Desktop Presenter here. You know what the strange thing is? What is the strange thing? That it actually had that up there. Yeah. I think it was that must have been the last thing that you closed on last time or something. Right. So, like I said before, let's go to the show. Um, so head on over to uh blog.pinoco.com. You can uh check out the blog post. Um just search for Fab Lab and you'll find our post. Episode 13, cardboard chair. Uh you go there. Uh, we got links to um, the project um, showroom, as well as the material that we used, tools, difficulty level, and that nice little rendition that Nick Jones just read for yes. us. Um, but yeah, and also check out Yana's material of the month, which is cardboard, which is the material of our month, which is August. Yes, um, cardboard August. And you can head over there to the showroom, get the files for free, as always, and... Um, you can check out some of the pictures of it if you want to get a little bit up close and detail personalness with their stuff going on and all that stuff. Sweet. So, like I said before, all the projects pretty much, um, yeah, all the projects this month are made out of cardboard. This project is made out of the same um, 6.7 yes. millimeter um, double corrugated cardboard which works out pretty well um takes some vector engraving pretty decently i'd suggest stick between the light and medium vector and not right click the image um and like i've said before cardboard has a grain which is the yeah. corrugation i'd suggest if you're going to have like a like a barring part like where you're going to bear down on something Put it against the grain, okay. Um, so that you're 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 hitting the grain, so it actually supports itself. Okay. Because if you cut on the corrugations, then the paper gets kind of flimsy and it doesn't really stay as taut. Yeah, as and like you said, it doesn't cardboard have an issue like cutting it really thin, like on the the lower. Yeah, side there? yeah, you can't cut this stuff very thin because the corrugations are what holds it together. So you have to at least have it as width, the width of like a single corrugation. Okay. And. Um, or, you know, stuff falls apart and all that junk. Alrighty. So, yeah, let's uh, sh- show this thing. Um, so, just looking at the blog post and looking at it in person, it has kind of the same form. I wouldn't say form factor, but it has the same kind of build. Uh, you know, just putting the the longer pieces of cardboard to support your, you know, the yeah, support the... Yeah, this is, it's, it's kind of like how we've been doing stuff. This doesn't require any tools except your little hands, and your hands will get dirty because this stuff does yeah. have soot around the ends of the edges of it, where it actually, um, where they laser cut the book, the the cardboard. So my hands were like I was like choking a miner or some not a miner that doesn't sound right, um, like I was like juggling charcoal. I don't know some insert some random like soot activity. I don't know. 
But, um, <laughs> it's actually pretty, um, pretty, uh, you know, sturdy. I sat on it, and my big old butt can sit on it than anybody can. Um, word of advice, if you have a big old butt, it will hang off the side because I didn't make it so wide because I was kind of limit on this to cut down on cost. I only made them the width of the, the height of the boards that you can cut. And, um, uh, so yeah, you can turn again. them sideways, make it longer. I even thought about afterwards, you could probably like every other one of these, like have one over here and have the next one over here yeah. and kind of stagger them and it hold it all together. But then again, it kind of just look, looking at it, I mean, I don't know much about the construction, but looking at it, it almost feels like that you would at least want kind of the center of your weight on the middle of it. Like you wouldn't want to, even if you had extended sides, like it wouldn't be great to sit yeah, on the side. It'd be like. perfectly fine. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very sturdy. Um, because like I said, you're sitting, you're, you got all these going for it. And I mean, it all just supports itself all around. So, I mean, yeah, it, you, you, th this cardboard's very hard to push this way or this way. Okay. So is the key just the multi kind of you know? The yeah, the grid, the grid, the locking grid is what actually makes it very, very strong. Okay. Um, um, if you want to, you, I mean, if we want to like not move the camera, you can move your laptop. You just sit it right here, and you sit it, sit on <laughs> sit on top of the desk. Well, that's not good. I'll put it over here by the. Uh... <laughs> um, <let's see. laughs> well, it's hard to like without moving the camera everywhere and. Here. <laughs> See, there you go. And Nicholas is sitting on the uh, the chair. So, as you can see, it works pretty well. Uh, <laughs> and all that stuff. So, yeah. You don't feel it, you know, giving anything. Yeah, now, um, if if you're uh, slightly thicker um, in areas, um, you can uh, you can definitely um, feel the uh, corrugations. But I just made them that big so that you could actually, like, not have to cut so many things. Just cut down the cost. But it just give a bunch of people... Um, Yes, it does actually feel like a checker pattern on your butt. It may leave one. On um, yeah, if you sat there for pro prolonged amounts of times, I'm pretty sure you'd have a checker pattern on your butt. Um, that could be remedied by putting maybe uh, something else on the chair. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, um, I noticed that it was actually three blabs, if I'm not mistaken. For... Yes, it is three blabs. What is that? I mean, is it just because it takes so long to put together, or... No, it's three blabs mainly because of the complexity of trying to think about what all you're going to have to have and make sure you have enough. Okay. As you can see over here, yeah. um, we have shelves and shelves and shelves full of little struts because I missed something. Yeah. Um, but with this thing, there's only two parts to it. You have that part and one of these. Those are the only two parts. I think it's pretty cool that you can just, like, see through it. <laughs> like, yeah. you can look through it, and it's just like, hey, everybody. And also, if if you guys, like, let's see. Just a second. You could actually also set it kind of like this. Yeah. That might be a little bit more awkward to sit on. Um, and also, you can set it like that and kind of have, like, a weird little thing going on there. So it's multifunctional That's awesome. and awesome. But uh, yeah, it uh, cost. It was uh, da -da -da, -da, da 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 da. Um, let me check that out real quick because I forgot already, and I should already have this ready to go, but I don't. Um, but it's um, I mean, it's it's pretty easy to put together. Um. I was what I was running with running in with was some of the um, what I did is I start with the bottom piece to kind of get them all together and yeah. then start with top pieces. Um, it kind of made like every other piece kind of off, just slightly, 
like one up, one down, one up, one down, one up, one down. Mm. Just like just a little bit. So what I did is I started from one side and actually kind of worked my way and pushed it out. And then you can feel it all. They all get in there. Mm-hmm. And then you can push the thing down. Okay. So are they are they all the same size or do they differ like different? No, they are all the exactly okay. the same size. That's that's pretty okay. So um, there the one pattern that we had was um, actually just two of those uh, profile pieces, you know, flipped on each other. So they'd fit on one yeah. sheet. Um, you could very easily make it one solid piece on one whole sheet. That way you can make it bigger or whatever. I mean, obviously it costs more. But yeah, it costs more because you have to put more slots. The The slats going across um, just filled up a whole entire sheet. Really? Um, all was, of them? Yeah, and um, not all of them. It was multiples of okay. those sheets. But that's what I did was I just filled them all up and then I just made multiples of the sheet. Like, I had one extra profile piece, and I had, like, uh, exactly, I think, enough uh, of the others. Oh, okay. So, it, it doesn't waste a lot of cardboard um, the way I did it. So, but yeah, the um, the actual uh, thing was, and I'm trying to remember, sorry, pull it up. Come on, do, do, do. And I, I think this is pretty cool because it's like, I mean, I wouldn't want to say that all of our projects aren't useful, but this is probably one of the more useful projects we've had. Like, I mean, the T-Rex is awesome, but it's just art or, yeah. you know, whatever. This is a functional art, if yeah. you will, want to call it that. Um, it was, uh, this was, this would have been the $100 project okay. just because of the multiple yeah. things, but it was only $85. Um, that's with the ten dollars shipping, so it was really like seventy five bucks with a Prime account on Pinoco. So that's not. I mean, that's not bad for a you know your custom design chair, which I mean it's cool and all, you know. Yeah. And you could definitely, you know, I mean I've seen these things like go for like like six hundred bucks online. Really? Like people resell them or something? Like people will make cardboard chairs, sell them. Really? And it gets. It gets up there. There's your I was gonna, right I there. was gonna do it where they were all glued together in one solid piece. Yeah, which would have been kind of cool. Except it would have required like four times the amount of cardboard. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I put that in there just for fun to see how much it cost. It was like like three hundred bucks to get all that. Yeah, it was just a lot. A lo- plus the the size I was doing was one sheet per thing. I was like, no, this is this is gonna be too much. So. Um, cardboard is the cheapest material I think they have. Um, you can also try it with um, the single uh, single wall cardboard. That's a little bit cheaper. Um, it's not going to be as strong, but it might if you you know yeah. compensate your design. But this is our designs on Fab Lab. You know, we're not really trying to like make something that we can sell. We're yeah. just making something to show people what you can do on Pinoco. And at the same time, maybe spark an idea and go, ooh, I could change this slightly and do this right. with it. You know, like, I saw on the internet where some dude, like, made, like, had a 3D model of his face. But then he made it out of cardboard just by layering the cardboard. Oh. It was pretty cool looking. So, I mean, you could do stuff like, I mean, yeah. and you might use this effect to actually layer it and make, like, this yeah. kind of, like, face thing. So... That's pretty much it. Sweet. All right. Well. Um, uh, and also. <laughs> oh yeah, totally forgot about that. You need to uh, email us fab at pbcasttv.com, um, and we for some uh, some suggestions or if you have questions or comments, whatever, just uh, email us there. We'll uh, answer them back. And if you get picked for a. Um, oh, break them out. If you get picked, if your idea gets picked, which send one in yeah. might very well, um, we'll send you these little Fab Lab uh, leather things to put on your keychain or something. And um, they're pretty cool. I'm just saying. And uh, also, we'll go ahead and mention this. Um, we are going to have to start cutting back shows. Yeah. Um, to uh, uh, once a month. So it won't be every week. But, hey, 
It'll be awesome either way. And, yeah, uh, and stay tuned to blog.pinoka.com. We're pretty oh, yeah. sure it's going to be at the first of the month, but um, obviously yeah, we'll yeah, have Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. uh, um, we'll have another show next week to finish up the Cardboard Month, right. and then we'll we'll start the one, one, a week, one a month shows. So, yeah. You can uh, follow me on Twitter, Freaking Huge, F-R-E-A-K-I-N-H-U-G-E. And jacobroberts.me is my personal blog Yes. that I never update anymore, which I really need to. Um, I need some kind of auto-fill thing of something. Yeah, I mean, I know people who, like, put their weekly tweets on it, like... Well, see, I have a Twitter thing on the side. Yeah. So, you know. Um, but, yeah, check it out. Yeah, and you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash that name Jones, nickjones.me. And gplus.to slash Nick Jones is my Google Plus account if you guys are on Google Plus. Uh, make sure to follow Pinoco on Twitter, twitter.com slash Pinoco, and twitter.com slash TV for all of the show updates, when the show goes live, when it gets posted, all that stuff. And um, I guess this has been another episode of Fab Lab. Yeah. So until next time, guys, I'm Jacob Roberts. And I'm Nick Jones. It's been another episode of Fab Lab. Peace.